Metrology, the science of measurement and quantitative comparison, is one of the most fascinating and fundamental areas of science. It's in the background, behind the scenes, but without it nothing would work. Metrology is the source of all the units and scales that we use to measure the world around us. With the help of the Open University and the National Physical Laboratory, these short programmes examine the seven SI base units from which all other units can be derived. The kilogram, the mole, the second, the kelvin, the ampere, the candela, and, in this episode, the meter. This is the vault where we keep the UK's copy of the meter bar. It's made of a, an alloy of platinum and iridium. It's a very valuable metal, uh, which is why we have to keep it locked away very safe underground. In fact, it's so precious that we require several keys to gain entrance, and so I require some assistance from my colleague Michael to enter the meter vault. Thank you. The definition of the meter based upon metal bars such as this one which we have here was in place for over half a century and during that time metal bars such as this one which is the official UK copy of the meter were the most accurate um, length standards which were available at the time nowadays however artifacts such as this are really uh, part of the uh, archive and the latest realisation of the definition of the meter comes from things we can look at in a laboratory upstairs. The speed of light is a fundamental constant of the universe. It has a fixed value of 299-792-458 meters per second. That means that in exactly one second, light will travel that many meters. If we take the reciprocal of this, in that small fraction of a second, light will actually travel one meter. Now that's a very good definition of the meter because it's fixed and it does not rely upon a single artifact. The problem with the definition of the meter as it stands is that it's very difficult to realise in practice. You need to have a very, very accurate source of timing. Instead, we can use a process called interferometry. In an interferometer such as this one, we can actually compare the length of physical objects against the wavelength of light. To do this, we need a wavelength which is very, very precise and accurately reproducible. So for that, we need a very precise laser, such as this laser which we have here. This is one of the lasers that we use to realise the definition of the meter here at NPL. The laser emits a light of one particular wavelength. It's monochromatic. 
we use light from this laser in the interferometer and compare the wavelength of the light directly against the length of the object that we're measuring. The key thing is that the definition of the meter is now based upon a fundamental constant. That means that the meter is now fixed for all time. It's unchanging and will be the same anywhere in the universe. 